Bring me one of those chickens. Fuck the game. I think I'll take two chickens. I'll still take that chicken. Hi everyone and welcome to this week's super special episode of the TV and Film Review Podcast. Uh, this week we'll be talking about Soli, Game of Thrones, and Season 4 so far. Uh, joining me today we have the King of the North, David McGregor. Hello. I love that title. <laughs> we have Lord Liam of the News Isles. Oh, thank you very much. The News Isles. <laughs> I thought you I thought you were gonna make me the Queen of Thorns for a second. <laughs> uh we have the Mother of Rabbits, Fear of Opinions, and Queen of the South, Kate McCall. <laughs> I wanna be Mother of Rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> is this uh, oh is this because of my fear of rabbits? Yes it was, yeah. Hey. Oh yeah, joke there. <laughs> and uh I give birth to them and then I kill. <laughs> <laughs> and... Sounds about right for the Game of Thrones universe. <laughs> And as always, I'm your host, uh, the Headless Wonder, Stuart Scott. Um, so, like I said, this will be our mid-season uh, Game of Thrones spoiler cast. So if you haven't seen any of season four yet, uh, up until episode, call it episode six? Yep. Um, up until episode six, tune out now. I mean, I mean, look, still download the episode and everything, we need the downloads, but um, you, can, you don't need to listen to it because... That's all we're going to be talking about. We're going to ruin the show for you. Yeah, go go and watch it and then come back. Yes, if you haven't watched it already, I mean, you have to go and watch it. It's like the best show on TV. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think of uh, season four so far? Just like a, we'll get a, a general point to start us off. Uh, David, do you want to start us? Yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed season four so far. I think it's, I think the seasons for me get stronger and stronger every year. I've liked most of what they've done. I've the the stuff with Daenerys up until the most recent episode, episode six. I was I, I love the stuff with Daenerys, but I was worried it was going to get a little a little repetitive. Her conquering the cities, freeing the slaves, moving on to the next city. You know, we've seen it for four seasons. I was getting a bit kind of worried about that. And then in episode five, she told us that she wasn't going to bother going to Westeros and she was just going to stay there and rule for a while. Um, which I was cursing because I really wanted her to to move across. However, in episode six, um, which was uh, tonight's episode, I thought it was really good because you see her for the first time trying to rule, and it just brought a whole new dimension to the the character itself. Um, so re- really, actually, quite happy now about how the Daenerys storyline is progressing. Love all the stuff at King's Landing. Um, I'm glad that the most boring man in Westeros, Stannis Baratheon, is getting as little screen time as possible. <laughs> um, not too keen on um, the Theon Greyjoy stuff either. I think that and the Stannis, they're they are very much sort of um, B plots, they're, they're, if you will. They're very grey, aren't they? There's not yeah. a whole lot of colour there. Yeah, and so, you know, but I'm glad they're, they're not giving them loads and loads of screen time. They're focusing on King's Landing and Daenerys are in every single episode, and the stuff at the wall I think is in most episodes. It wasn't in episode six, <laughs> but it, it's been in pretty much all of them. So I think they've got a really good balance now of of all the different players across Westeros and how much screen time they give them all. So really happy overall. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think it's they've got the pacing uh, down to a T now. There was a few episodes like in the earlier seasons, like you say, where it's. Uh, the focus is on the kind of the boring stuff in it. Yeah, I really like what they. I mean, they've done this a couple of times now. In episode six, uh, which has just been on, the first half of the episode, you're jumping around all over the place, and you're you know so you're going from Stannis to Daenerys to Theon, um, and you know you're you're sort of bouncing around, and then they focus the whole second half of the episode on King's Landing, and they did that earlier on with the Purple Wedding where again the first half of the episode was you know bouncing around all the various different places and then the second half was just all um, the wedding yeah um, yeah they like to keep their, their big set pieces for the end of the episode don't they yeah I, I, I do like that um, 
I, I think in I think it was season two, the Battle of Blackwater. I think they gave a whole yeah, episode yeah. to that, didn't they? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I I think they've absolutely nailed the pacing there. What about yourself, Kate? In, in agreement with David? Uh, yeah, um, I'm really enjoying this season. Um, I like David. I am getting a little bit. I mean, even think even with with um, episode six, I'm still a little bit getting a bit bogged down by all the Daenerys stuff. I think I just wish. I think the problem with Daenerys is that she, and it's the problem with the budget of the show as well is that she'll go to these cities and sack, well not sack them free them, liberate them and um, but there's no budget to show that so it's kind of like she arrives she might do a big speech or something there might be a bit of intrigue outside the city walls and then it's oh and then it's done and then she'll go to the next place oh no and then it's done and you don't really get a sense of you know if she's going to keep moving along I want her to you know, be moving to Westeros. But if she's going to slow it down a little bit, like obviously in season five when she was like, no, I'm going to stay. I might even go backwards and go back to the places I've been. And you're like, no, don't go backwards, go forwards. Um, at, at least, you know, stay stay in one place. Pick an, in, you know, pick an interesting city and stay in one place. And, you know, so maybe this is kind of beginning to happen in episode six where she is beginning to rule and she's, you know, attending to her people and listening to their you know, they're, they're pleased or whatever. But um, I think it's interesting, want... Kate, that you've, you have you mentioned the budget part there because in episode six, I think they must have used some of their CGI budget there because yeah, there, there is two fantastic scenes, I thought, um, in, the, in the latest episode. There's one which is um, Stannis and Davros as they come into... Bravos, uh, and, yeah. and, there's this, uh... and there's this great scene of this huge statue, and the camera pans yeah. all the way back. It's, it's very just... Lord of the Rings. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, I noticed they had that in the opening credits as well. Yeah, um, that's thing. right. And then there's a, the great scene with a dragon in episode, oh, with, uh, in, in yeah, the latest yeah. episode, where you've got this yeah. little goat farmer child, and he's sort of on the edge of the the cliff. And, and to be honest, I wasn't sure where they were at that point. I thought it was actually going to be a scene with the hound. And then out of nowhere, this massive dragon appeared. <laughs> oh, I, I, th- I thought it was great. So I'm glad they decided to use some of their Daenerys budget. Well, they must have been scrimping earlier on. Did you see the episode where all the all the folks were lined up in the wall, and it was just like a copy and paste of the same the same ten people all, all along the wall? Oh, was it? <laughs> you could pick out the same it? guy in there and his bright <laughs> yellow cloak like seven times. <laughs> um, you said uh, the two. You said that. Um, you were kind of looking forward to uh, getting on the boats and getting over to getting over to Westeros. I must be one of the only people that doesn't want her to do that because I, I mean, they're just going to that. That would be the end, basically, wouldn't it? Um, I, I want to see how she reacts like a like a ruler, um, not like the ones you use for drawing straight lines, like a like a queen or a empress or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, well, we're starting to see that now, aren't we? Um... Because I, even just uh, we we spoke about this um, off the podcast um, the other day, and I'd mentioned about how I was, I was kind of getting a bit bored and a bit repetitive of the new story. Like, and then after watching episode six, I'm sort of pulled right back in, and now I want to see how she gets on um, ruling the kingdom and the tough decisions she has to make. Yeah, see, I, I like that better than the West. Like, I would rather not see her in Westeros for a while. Like, I want to see how she does in her own kind of set of politics rather than everyone else's politics that are... It's just the same story told from different angles, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's her own individual Mm. story. Sorry, Kate, we keep interrupting you here. (laughs) (laughs) No, I was going to... I mean, if she's going to... As long as we get a bit more of, you know, the kind of geography, I guess, of Marine and more characters in Marine, and it begins to feel a bit more... like Almost like King's Landing or um, the Wall, I guess, in a way. You know, you get to really get a feel for the place and you kind of because you're just always on the move and you don't really get a sense of any of the places what that she's liberated so so yeah we'll see what happens i was gonna actually i was gonna ask liam if this might be a bit of a tricky question but okay um where's house targaryen like where's their their town i guess or city in westeros where are they actually based um because the starks are at winterville yeah, yeah I, can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think they were King's Landing, because then that's oh, when, right, obviously, okay. when Robert came and kind of overthrew them all. That's obviously where they overthrew them from. But 
Yeah, right. No doubt yeah. someone's listening to this and be like, oh, he's totally wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm sure it's sure it's King's Landing. If we're throwing map questions at Liam, I've got another one. Oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> um, obviously, in episode 6, we've, we see our first um, sightings of Bravos. Yeah. Uh, am I right in thinking, we've already met a couple of people from Bravos already? Am I right in thinking that um, Serial, you know, the swords guy, the sword yeah. guy who taught Arya, he's from Bravos, wasn't he? He was, yeah. Oh, was he? I thought he was from the the place where uh, the new guy, um, what's his name, Prince Auburn, is it? The, the new guy that's the judge yeah, yeah. on the... Yeah, oh, yeah from Dorne. No, no, he's from Bravos. Yeah, I thought he was. And I'm already thinking that the guy... Is, I want to say his name's Jackin or something like that. The guy with yeah, the... Jackin Hagar, yeah. Yes. Is he from Bravos yeah. as well? Yeah, they are from, yeah, he's from Bravos yeah, as well. Yeah, I, th- I thought we'd met a couple. And I think Dario Naharis is yeah, Bravos as well, yeah. isn't he? I, I yeah. think he is as well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. we've met loads of them. That, that takes on a good point as well. Uh, Dario, is that that's the same Dario that's with uh, Daenerys, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah. Would you guys think of him being recast this season? From the end of season three? I wanted a, like a, <laughs> this goes back to my Sunset Beach days, <laughs> you know, or just on American soaps where they're like, the role of so-and-so will now be played by, <laughs> I really wanted something like that, but obviously it didn't have, or Daenerys to go, and who are you again? <laughs> but obviously, they don't, they don't have room for that kind of humour in Game of Thrones, so. Um, I don't know, I think they, it was, it was for contract reasons, wasn't it? The other guy. Uh, Isn't the I other guy on Terminator the, uh, or something? Yeah, yeah, I think you went off to a movie, yeah. Transporter. So, Transporter, oh, that, um, that the it. reboot yeah. of the franchise. They're still making Transporter <laughs> movies? Really? No, oh no they're, rebo- they're rebooting the franchise, oh, and he thought that that would be a better <laughs> Better thing than Game do. of Thrones? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> what a fool. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah I, I wasn't too keen on him, uh, on the new guy, until, was it episode three, when he had to fight the guy on the horse? And that was just like, that was proper Fonzie cool. You just wanted him to turn, down, turn around with the leather jacket and go, eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
in, I think it was episode 5, I think Cersei was like, you know, oh, we've been fighting for years or something like that. And like, you're like, well, obviously quite a lot of time has passed, even though it only feels like a short period yeah. of time. I think years have passed, so maybe it does, I don't know. You just have to look at uh, Bran Stark and uh, see how many years have passed. <laughs> how long yeah, his hair's getting. Looks the same. <laughs> um, so, like, uh, like I'm saying, episode one, um, I've, I've taken lots and lots of uh, lots of notes here that don't actually make any sense now. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got um, Dragon Backlash just sticking on Daenerys. I, I remember the uh, one of the first se- uh, scenes of the episode one uh, was one of the dragons kind of having a wee bite at her when it was. I, I can't remember. Whether, was she trying to feed them or something? Do, do you think that could be an issue at some point, or do you think she's just they, they're just like her props? Do you think they're gonna? develop their own well I think in see in in the latest episode they're already getting a little bit out of control and she's having to apologize yeah. for them a little bit isn't she so uh and what they're well obviously Liam says time's moved on but they can only maybe be like two or three years old so I don't really know the lifespan of a dragon I'm afraid <laughs> yeah. so I'm sure that's fairly young <laughs> yeah I, th- I think yeah. they put in those scenes um just to show that that you can't ever really control a dragon and no, you know, no matter how close you are to them, or whether you're their mother or whatever, you know, I, I think it, it, those sort of things are in there, so to show how unpredictable they can be, and uh, and and just how how uncontrollable the the, the dragons can be. Um, well, that's much, what I mean. That's. Um, yeah. uh, do you think that's going to go somewhere? Do you think that's? It'd be, I... real, it'd be really crap if that was the kind of at the end of her storyline, wouldn't it? If she'd just get eaten at the end of this season. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I was thinking it might be more interesting if she does maybe say get with Dario, and they become jealous of you know someone else. You know, she's giving her affections to somebody else. They get a bit jealous. Or start maybe... bitching about him behind his back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not letting him sit at their table. <laughs> so uh, I think that could be interesting. Um, what about the the Lannister storyline? That is obviously the deepest one. See uh, episode two with uh, Joffrey. That that is like the the first big uh, the first big selling point of the season. And the... see when you see when you guys were talking about, I think it was a few podcasts ago when you guys were we were all talking about it, and you're like, oh, I wonder who's gonna die first. <laughs> I remember. And you were all like guessing yeah. people, and I was like, oh, Joffrey. <laughs> <laughs> see, I wouldn't really have pegged him either. I thought he was too good to. To kill off, like uh, too much of a like a hate figure for everyone to like the only the only bad person that everyone could focus on. Um, there's not really a whole lot of them left. Um, everyone's just kind of a. But don't you think it's interesting the way it's almost literally as soon as Joffrey's been bumped off, the way Littlefinger has just risen to be that kind of the, you know the main villain of the piece, and he's uh, he's he's. He's he's not as vile as Joffrey is, but he's still pretty yeah, sleazy and yeah, slimy. He's, more slimy than, uh, he's than a evil, different kind of yeah. Um, even now, I don't think he is like a villain. Villain. I think he's more of a villain than most people. But I, I still, I, like, I feel like um, Cersei is worse than him. I think she's like, more of a villain uh, than what. I than don't what know. Is than Tywin. I, I mean, Littlefinger clearly wants. Wants to, you know, when he when when they arrived back at the Eyrie and and Lysa was all, oh, let's get married, and he was like, oh, do we really have to? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he clearly wants to marry Sansa. So uh, then the North's his, and you know that's another one on his list. And yeah. obviously he wants to rule everything. So I, I think he's more. Uh, I mean, Cersei's quite manipulative, I guess, but I think I still think Littlefinger's worse. I think he's <laughs> he's slimier and. But Aid- Aiden Gillen's so good. Um, Do you know? Busy. I've got a wee feeling that he's going to be. Uh, that's going to be the last episode of this season. Is him going? I think he's going to get the chop. Mm, I think he's still got a long way to go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm listening for for Liam's sniggers in the background. <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> <laughs> um, How do you think he's going to go? Ah. Uh... Do you think the accent police will catch up with him? <laughs> <laughs> what is his accent? <laughs> that, that's how he actually speaks, though, because like, I saw him. Um, I haven't seen many of his other roles, but he was in Calvary, the new film 
um, with Brendan Gleeson, yeah. and he's in that, and he's literally talks just like Littlefinger, but with an Irish <laughs> accent. It's like, that's actually how he speaks. You always think he puts it on a little bit, but no. <laughs> but he wasn't always so Irish. Like, in the first series, he wasn't... He didn't... I don't he, remember him speaking quite like that. He was Welsh, wasn't he? I, just, I, I, like, I don't know why he was. <laughs> well, he's actually... He's, he is Irish, the actor, so... Um, what about... What about Jamie Lannister? I, I, I love his, uh, his new hand. His, uh, his pimp slap hand. <laughs> just, I'm waiting for someone to just karate chop... Uh, to be karate chop by him. Do you know what? I, I think, Stu, we're going to see um, Jamie's hand in action very soon with yes. the... With the ending of the most recent episode, Tyrion wants to have trial and combat. Jamie, it's going to be him, isn't it? it it's going to be. Yeah, he's either going to be fighting for Tyrion or he's going to be fighting against Tyrion, and I'm not sure yeah. which it's, way it's going to go. It, it's got to be Bronn and Jamie, hasn't it? Surely. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Liam, what are the rules? Sorry, I leave. We're just picking on you for anything that we don't <laughs> understand. What are the rules for? Um, a trial in combat. Obviously, last time Tyrion was able to pick yeah, someone for him. Last time, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is that the same for? Is without spoiling yeah. it, obviously. It's, it's basically whoever, whoever dies, whoever's combat combatant dies, uh, loses. So, if for example, if Tyrion chose Jamie and or say Cersei had Jamie and Tyrion had Bronn and Bronn died, then Cersei would win, and then Tyrion would then be found guilty. So you want to your person to live? Are you telling us Braun and Jamie are going to be fighting? No. <laughs> no, don't. T- no. Ah, ah! It's not. It's not. No. Oh, it so is. It so is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, actually, my my first thought was that Jamie would be fighting for Tyrion. Well, I thought but, that as well, and uh, then I remember I just, that Braun is why, still there. Why would you wouldn't pick Jamie there, would you? Because he's got one hand. Surely you'd pick. Mm. Someone with two hands. Fighting fight with the heart, isn't it? He, he, he wants to. I think to he's closer to Bronn than he is to Jamie, though. Yeah. No, that's his brother. Mm, I don't know. The only thing is, who would he be fighting against? Because there's no one that's really like a character. Unless, that, unless Tyrion does the fighting himself. <laughs> well, see, I thought, that was, I thought that's how it was the first time. Um, did they not say that he had to. Well, he was going to be because no one was going to stand up for him. No, I, I thought I thought they said look, he wanted to pick a representative um, if he could find one. I thought it was supposed to be him that was fighting, and that's why they all laughed at him. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I'm guessing it's just going to be it's going to be Bronn and Jamie, isn't it? And just Lee, Lee was heartbroken. Well, didn't I'm, wasn't there the I'm conversation be, between Bronn and Jamie? I think it was last episode where Bronn says, "Oh, when we were at the Eyrie, and he had to pick somebody, he picked." you, he picked Jamie, yeah. but it, it, he didn't have enough time to travel. It had to be somebody there and then. That's why he picked Bronn. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I just think, I mean, I guess it depends as well who who gets to pick first, because I think if Cersei or whoever, the you know, the, the opposite, I guess, of them as a jury, I guess, the opposite Tyrion, if they get to pick first, I think they're going to, they'll pick Jamie, won't they? So yeah, Tyrion might, especially by default, he's... end up with someone else. Yeah, because Jamie's a member of the King's Guard, so he's going to get chosen. And, and, and now, now that you mention it, I, I really do think it's going to be Jamie against Bronn, especially because they've set it up so well with earlier yeah. in the season those two training, um, with Bronn training them up and how to fight, and the irony that they're going to end up actually fighting. Um, it's the thing as well for it's going to either Jamie's going to die or he's going to have to kill Tyrion. Basically, like that's that's kind of how it works. After him, like going and kind of bargaining for him, um, it's it's going to have that kind of that same irony to it. Not irony, like the uh, that horrible uh, twist of fate sort of thing. So presumably, if whoever's fighting for Tyrion is killed, then Tyrion is then As killed guilty, separately, yeah. 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 or or sent to the wall. Awesome. Yeah. Do you know I was actually quite excited about see when they met, they mentioned in this recent episode about uh, they sort of teased that Tyrion should plead for mercy and then he would be sent to the wall and uh, do you know what I was actually thinking to myself oh do you know what I'd, I'd like to see Tyrion at the wall <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be quite good it's going to happen with White Walkers <laughs> yeah. yeah we've not seen much of them this season there was a little bit and uh, 
Was it last episode? Wait, episode five or episode well, four? It was, a, it was a really crucial bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was going to say it was really good. Um, yeah, like I said, we've not seen much of them since like the last scene of season three or something, and then like the the revelation of what happens with them. Um, and I take it. Uh, I, I'm trying to dodge around spoilers, and I don't know why. Um, obviously, with the the king of the White Walkers or whatever it was. Um, seeing him taking the wee the wee baby away, that must be how they've been building their army over all those years. Eh, that's why they're all kind of coming back now. Well, I don't, well, I, don't I don't think Craster's had that many boys. Yeah, it, it, it can't be <laughs> a very big army. Seventy waves or something, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's had ten. I don't think he's had like thousands and thousands. Yeah, and, and I'm assuming the White Walkers been around a lot longer than than he was. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I mean because yeah. like they were talking about. Oh yeah, but no one's seen a White Walker in years or something like that, didn't they? Or they're, they're just myths and legends. Until and this guy started nailing out, his daughters. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. That now all of a sudden they've got hundreds of thousands of army marching. Hundreds of thousands of army. That's a quote. That, we should put that in the chat. <laughs> do you think? Do you think that the the White Walkers are good guys or bad guys? They can't possibly be good guys. They're zombies. Well, I don't know. I, Maybe I, they don't. I don't know if they have a moral compass. Yeah, <laughs> they're not alive. Let's face it. Nobody in Game of Thrones has a moral compass. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the zombies. They they go around and steal babies and turn them into baby zombies and. They can't possibly be good, surely. Well, not not so much good guys, but I suppose, I I suppose what I mean is that I I'm assuming that they don't take sides, and they're not going to start working for the Lannisters or no. um, whoever you know, and they're just going to fight whoever's in their path. Um, um, and I wonder if, as they travel, they bring the ice with them. You know, can they? Is coming, yeah. Yeah, can yeah. they only survive in that climate, maybe? Oh, so. oh Which well. Which is why I think you haven't seen them for so long. Yeah, was there not a thing where, like, uh, I think it was with the Jon Snow storyline, um, like, you seen the frost uh, kind of like, creeping towards them? I, I might have been Bran, I can't remember. Um, and you seen it, like, getting colder as one of them was, was coming? That might have been that same episode I was talking about. Uh, the, well, I think the wind tends to pick up, doesn't it? And the birds are like, almost like flying away from them. Mm. But I can't yeah. remember if it... I guess it's already cold, so it's hard to tell if it gets any colder. But Yeah, I'll need to go back and watch the episode to remember exactly, but I'm sure it, like you seen... I think he was holding a leaf or something like that, and you seen the, the leaf freezing as it was kind of coming towards him. Maybe I'm right that. thinking Bran is heading in that direction. Yeah. Yeah, so they... I, I, they I, 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 snow, didn't they? Yeah, I I really hope that um, Bran, you know, starts to um, get in amongst the White Walkers and then just takes control of them. Oh, you know the way he can take. Tra- <laughs> you know how he can take <laughs> control of people. He could surely just take control of like that whole army by getting in the head of that lead guy. That, that's a nice oh, segue oh. because uh, you've seen him taking control of Hodor again, which he wasn't. It wasn't supposed to be like an easy thing for him to do. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, Liam, you mentioned before that that's not really their bit in the book. Isn't really it doesn't have a lot of set pieces the way it yeah, seems. Yeah. No. So it's does quite... he take control of Hodor in the book, or is that like a yeah, thing? Yeah, you know he does. He does, and it's meant to be like because obviously Hodor is a bit simple. Yeah, it's meant to be easy to take control of. Yeah, yeah. So they do do that, but it's mostly just Bran moaning and how he he wants <laughs> to be in in. Uh, Summer, the direwolf, he wants to be in his body more, and yeah. George in and that keeps on him not to. So that's that's very much his what it, it, he does in the book for ages and ages, and that I think that's why they've obviously added in the class of creep stuff because that would just be boring otherwise to watch that. What's with the uh, flaming hand? For um, what's his name, Georgian? Georgian. Yeah, in the last episode, uh, episode five, I think he we saw this flaming hand that he has. I'm still not really sure the significance of the the tree and the. The uh, CI well, bird and all that. Yeah. Are we meant well, to know yet, looking... though? No, you're not. No. Okay. But obviously, they're <laughs> looking for the three-eyed crows. So that's what the crow is. Yeah, but why? 
Oh. <laughs> wow. Touch snows. <laughs> I think I think the um the fire thing isn't in the book, I don't think. I think that's another thing that they and I think it was just to say, you know, the there's a big fire coming and I think it was just alluding to the, the fire at Crestus Keep, so oh, I think yeah. that's I think that's kind of you know, there's there's closure on that bit now, but Makes sense. I think I think it's I think Jojen is interesting though because I think he's I don't think he's quite well he's not very well at the moment is he he's he seems to be having more and more fits and Mm -hmm. he's quite he's almost feverish as well so I think that might be I don't know if he's getting worse as he's getting towards the crow I don't don't know so but I think that might be one to keep an eye on Mm. not that I know anything but I just think (laughs) It just it's just interesting the way they they don't they're not mentioning it but you can see him just looking you know she's continually his sister's having to help him more and more each episode so it's, uh, it's going to be some stupid plot twist where he is the tree or something isn't it there's something totally ridiculous <laughs> all the rings and then start marching towards Crystal Lee's castle <laughs> I tell you do you know what um, speaking of those two the brother and sister um, brings me on another point that we've Another character who we haven't seen at all this season is Osha and Rickon. Who? You see? Ram, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the other Stark. The little boy. I, I genuinely didn't know there was another Stark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where, where are uh, they going, Liam? I, mean, I, might think, I, I can't remember where, where it is they headed off to. They... Uh, oh, I can't remember now. No, yeah. it's, somewhat, it's a town in the north, isn't it? Yeah, I think they just went to uh, hide to protect Rickon because he was too young to go beyond the wall, basically. Yeah. But I don't, I, I don't think you're going to see much of them. Cause certainly not in the books much. So. Thank goodness, I've not missed a major plot development then. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was a spoiler. I apologise. <laughs> um, what about the the Night's Watch? Uh, you mentioned you wanted to see Terry in there, and uh. I thought we were going to see a new kind of main guy with them, uh, and I don't even know did they have a name. Uh, the Lock. kind of older guy, Lock. Lock. Uh, like Is that who Lock. you were talking about? I the, think so. The, the guy with the beard and the, the black hair and the cape. Yeah. yeah, the guy that chopped off Jamie's hand. Yes, that's who. I, I knew. I, I had that in a note as well. Previous role question mark. I knew he'd done it before. <laughs> I couldn't think where. Um. Yeah, I thought he was going to be like a, a kind of main character, and I'm uh, I'm a bit gutted that he's not. He, he's he's not in the books, though, is he, Liam? Oh no, they've kind of made him. He's kind of yeah, he's kind of taken on a different kind of character. Because okay. in the book, in the book, I think he's called Vargo. He's called the goat. The goat. Yeah, <laughs> they should have called him the goat. Now he looks like a goat. They should have done. Um, but yeah, he's not in the books either. Well, he's kind of taken on a different role than the books. Hmm. Um, but what, what do you make of where their story's going? Do you think they're going to be just stuck in that castle and waiting to, for the uh, the creepy cannibal guy to come and get them? Yeah, surely that's episode 9, surely. The fight, mm. the fight between them and the cannibals is going to be episode 9. Is that just me that thinks that? Or? I, I would have thought that would have been sooner. I was thinking that would maybe be next week or the week after. Okay. Oh, well, I'm saying that mm. that would be episode 7 and 8 next week, so I, okay... I I did. I don't know if this is a spoiler or anything, but if you look at the ep- the, ep- the what the episodes are called, the episode titles, one of them something about a wall, watches on the wall or something, and that's okay. eight or nine, I think. So, and it's all it's always episode nine. Something massive will happen in episode nine. So, <laughs> <laughs> if that's what it's all leading to, then it's going to be it's going to be that episode. And I think you'll get the the John and Egret reunion as well. Yeah, oh, that's, that's not going. That's, that, that's not going to go down well, is it? <laughs> See, for episode nine, I was thinking that that was going to be Stannis's second go at it. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I, I must be the only one that likes him as well. Uh, he is a bit dull, but I like his story. I think that's quite a, a weird twist on it. Do you know what? I I, I don't mind the the story. I. I just maybe it's the actor, maybe it's the I don't know what he's like in the book, but I I just find him so dull. I'm so glad that he's with um, Davros because even in just the episode there, he he steals the scene. 
Yeah. And um, he's he's the main guy. St- he- Sanity's so he's so boring. <laughs> he's so bland. <laughs> when did that thing happen with his fingers? Uh, with Davos' fingers as well? Yeah. I, I've never. Has that been a long term thing? It's been the whole, yeah, well, I'd, it's I'd the never whole noticed time. that before. Hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you mentioned it before as well. I like the. Uh, oh god, I can't even remember the name of the place now. The the place where the bank was that they went to visit. Brabos. Yeah. yeah. I, I I really loved the the depiction of that. I thought it was really. We're going to be seeing really, more really of that, right? City, yeah. What yeah. did you guys think of Mark Gatiss? He was um, the representative at the Iron Bank. Oh, that's Re- right, yes. Did you recognise him? Yeah. <laughs> is he from... Uh, is it Sherlock? Sher- Sherlock, yeah. League of Gentlemen, yes. yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know, I was watching that and I was thinking I, I know him from somewhere, I need to <laughs> look him up. Uh, but no, I, I thought he was quite good. I liked the whole uh, Iron Bank element. I'm hoping that that's not it and we get to see see a bit more of what goes on there. Uh, I think it could be quite interesting. I was a bit disappointed about how easily they just caved in to um, Stannis's um, or Davros's demands mm. um, and just gave them gold or an army or whatever. Um, and, oh, and there's a new character, isn't there? That um, the pirate. No, he's been in it before. Oh, has he? Yeah, he was in. Oh, that's season right. Season two. Yeah. That's right. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so do you think we'll be seeing more of the pirate guy as well? Do you think he's going to play a bigger role, or do you think he's just going to be one of those characters that shows up every now and again? Because it didn't, it didn't seem like there was anything been set up with him in uh, episode six. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that he was there in Bravos. Um, I'm assuming that because he's, he seems like he's going to be leading one of the main armies of Stannis now. Or certainly helping them out. So I suspect we're going to see a lot more of them, especially if they are um, going to do battle. I don't really know what their plan is now. I assume, as you say or alluded to earlier, Stu, that they're 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 going to make another attempt on King's Landing. But yeah, uh, I thought they were going. Didn't they change tack last season though? And they 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 thought right, no, the walls where it's at, the walls where we need to be. Oh, did they? Yeah, I think because I mean, um, they got, they got the letter from the wall, didn't they? Asking for help, and then Melisandre was, you know, kind of like, all bigger picture. Oh, actually, so the wall is where. So yeah, so but I don't know what they're doing next, actually. So, because mm. I thought when oh, they, Gav- they, yeah, they could be involved in the 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 episode nine that we're talking about at the wall. Oh, there we go. That that would, uh, that would they they could turn it. up and get involved. Yeah. Yeah, that might be interesting. Uh, see, I've never wanted the season to finish uh, so badly now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, there's a, it's on next week and then there's a two-week break as well. Oh, what? <laughs> it's um, oh. Yeah. It's our bank holiday in America. I don't know what day it is in America, but it's God. a holiday there as well. That's rubbish. It's like Boom. Martin Luther King Day or something, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so oh. what do you think about who killed Joffrey then? Because we've not really touched on that yet. Um, Did you think it was going to be um, whoever? Who, uh, is that Elena? I believe, isn't it? I have no idea. I I, I thought it would be the Tyrells. Um, <laughs> it's quite interesting the way it, the the conversation afterwards between Elena and Marjorie, and obviously it, it shows Marjorie's complete innocence in it. Mm-hmm. You know, she was really looking forward to being queen. And then Elena makes a comment about, oh, that was never going to happen or something. You know, kind of alluding to, like, she did it. But the whole yeah, little yeah. finger thing, I did not see coming. So. Uh, I was a bit confused as to why they kind of brought that, uh, the place, not High Garden. What's the other place? That, um... The Eerie. Yeah, the Eerie, that's the one, yeah. Uh, I was a bit shocked to see that coming back into play. Well, I think there's, obviously that's where... And Littlefinger was taking Sansa, but yeah. we also have the Hound at Narnia. They're heading there as well. And obviously that's how you found out that um, Liza was responsible for killing John Arryn. Yeah, so I think when, when Arya and the Hound get that. there. Yeah. Well, Littlefinger was, you know, didn't Tywin make him the head of, is it the Vale? He's Lord of the Vale, isn't he? 
and he was, you know, as a as a reward for God, I can't even remember what he did now. It was so long ago, some reward. He got made Lord of the Vale, and he right. and he could uh, and he and, and and to marry Lysa as well, and not, which is obviously, you know, he's 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 been in love with Cat for however long, yeah. and now he's marrying her sister. So <laughs> crazy Lysa of the <laughs> of the eerie. Yeah, they're, they're and uh, those folks, aren't they? And uh, everyone and her her people. lovely son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just weird. Yeah, everyone up there's just uh they're about and bread. It must be like uh, like Ayrshire. Yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of uh, speaking of creepy, I um, of <laughs> no. <laughs> Spe- speaking of creepy, what did you make of Marjorie and uh, possibly the luckiest boy in all of Westeros <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, and uh, that that scene where she she creeps into his bedroom, and uh, it was all a bit weird. That I'm sure we all thought that was going one way. She's turned into a bit of a manipulator as well, isn't she, uh, Marjorie? Um, kind of trying to get into the the boy's head. What's his name? Ripon. Tommen. Tommen, that's the one. <laughs> Rapidly aged Tommen. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's just trying to kind of get into his ear before Cersei so, can, isn't she? So, yeah. how, how old is Tommen meant to be? Is he meant to be about 13, isn't he? I think. Well, in the books, he's about seven or eight. That's <laughs> why they rapidly aged him, because they're weird. <laughs> um, well, in saying that, is, uh, is Marjorie not supposed to be like 14 or something in the books yeah, as well? Yeah, she is, so. yeah, she is. Oh, right. It's not, not as bad, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see her kind of competing with Cersei, and actually, I think she's turned into a little bit for Cersei as well. Uh, especially after the revelation that uh, it was her granny that killed Joffrey. I think she's kind of trying to get into that mood, that kind of mindset of I think she doing probably she just for, for the good of our house. I think she just wants a successful marriage where her husband <laughs> isn't killed off after like a week or something. With a child. <laughs> yeah, and I think she just, she wants to be queen, doesn't she? She wants power, so... Yeah. I don't think she's as manipulative as, as Cersei is. I did like Cersei's little going around the jury. You know, she bit, she went to see Marjorie and pretended to be all nicey with her. Yeah. And she just wants to, you know, you know. That's as soon as the trial's finished, that's going to go. And then she had the little conversation with Oberyn as well. So trying to get them all on her side. So the the one thing with um, Prince Oberyn that I'm not understanding quite right because he, he he was introduced as this character who hated the Lannisters. Like absolutely hated them, and now he seems to be all buddy buddy with them. You know, he's on the he's on the the jury with them. He's getting along fine. He's he's not really well. There was a wee bit of an explanation to that when he gets selected for the jury, didn't he? Or when remember yeah, when he no, spoke to just... and I thought that was I thought that was a, a good enough kind of mm. palm off of it. Do you know? I've heard quite a few people refer to him as the Red Viper. And I'm I'm guessing that's maybe in reference to something that has either happened in the past yeah, like or that. is going to happen. And I don't know if Liam can confirm that without spoilers. It's well, it's something that has happened, but they don't really get into it. It's in the books because, like, it's meant to be that people from Dorne like know their poison. Yeah, I was going to say that. Stuff, I did like kind of snake, explain that so, poison thing. Um, yeah, it's meant to be kind of like that. And obviously, before he's been poisoned people and stuff like that, and. Uh, he poisons like his weapons that he uses and stuff like that. So that's oh. why he's called the Red Viper. Um, but they haven't really talked about it in the in the TV show. Um, I, I quite like his his character. Um, I, I like him as an addition to the cast. I hope he sticks around a little bit longer. See, I think he's he's been brought in as he's been bailed as this really interesting character. But I, I, I feel like it's a bit too like. I mean, the actor. <laughs> The actor's really good, and obviously he is an interesting character, but it's like, you know, we're expected to think that immediately, and I, I, I think, you know, he's getting big storylines immediately, and we still don't <laughs> really know who he is. That's a death sentence for anyone in this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that history with him like you do with, with all the other characters, so yeah. I kind of wish we'd had a bit more of a build-up with him before he just suddenly is... Such a me- you know such at the, at the centre of of all the major storylines this season. So yeah, he is good, but I just you know he's, uh, I think he ne- he needs to earn it a bit more. I think. <laughs> is it just me who thinks he's quite quite good looking as well? One of the better looking members of the cast. 
I'll take it as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. He's not like pure, obviously, but there's something about him. Um, what about between him and Dario Naharis? <laughs> uh, new one or the old one? The new one. Oh, definitely uh, Oberyn. Definitely. I don't. I don't know what it is. Just a uh, weird crush of mine. We uh, <laughs> hint drop there next podcast possibly. <laughs> Kate, who's your? Um, who would you say was the the hottest man in Westeros? Oh, um... Remember that Jason Momoa listens to the podcast? That's a lie, by the way, I just told him. Probably Jamie, I like Jamie's new haircut. (laughs) Have you heard his actual accent? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, he was in a really, really good (laughs) film um, a year or so ago called Headhunters. Any of you seen that? Mm, Where he's... um, It's a a Danish film, it's very good. And uh, yeah, and obviously he's speaking, speaking his language in that, so... He has a lovely accent, I must say. Um, <laughs> uh, we actually had him in our uh, hottest, hottest guys poll last year, didn't we? But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think he finished in the top fifty um, hottest guys on US TV last year. That's right, he did. Um, I know Jon Snow is very popular, obviously. Yeah, I, I was He's a bit pretty, f- bit pretty for me. I, I think he looks like <laughs> a penguin. I think he's <laughs> got the like. If you put him in a tuxedo, he would just be like a wee, like a wee penguin. He would sit a wee bow tie and all that. Yeah, I, I was forced to watch Pompey at the weekend. Oh, just, awesome. um, it just just for Kit Harrington um, <laughs> shirtless. <laughs> it's a good enough reason to watch it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you though, uh, Jason Momoa, who played Cal Drogo in the early. Oh uh, yeah! Movies, oh yeah! I yeah. know. I love Jason Momoa. Yeah, I mean, I, I I met him in London last year, and do you know what? He's such a cool guy yeah. as well. Oh well, we were at the panel when. Uh, him and uh, Peter Dinklage and the guy who plays Serial were um, that's right com- he's, he's uh, doing top, uh, commentary over one of the episodes proper big guy Jason Momoa isn't he oh yeah he's about the size of me I think isn't he <laughs> yeah I mean obviously he wasn't getting topless or anything but you could tell he's he <laughs> absolutely ripped <laughs> but yeah I, w- I wish he listened to the podcast I might, I might just keep that like a wee secret that he, that he does listen to the podcast and uh, just he has, re- he has retweeted on. us on Twitter before yeah, definite, definite sign that he's a, he's a listener. <laughs> yeah, you can count him as a fan. Um, back on topic. Um, I think the last couple of characters we've got to talk about... Um, oh, what about Brienne? What, what do you think of her? Uh, oh, kind of story I like Brienne. Yeah. I, Brienne I, and Paul. I, I had a wee tear in my eye when uh, Jamie gave her the armour and the sword and all that. I thought that was really cute. Um, but I don't like that she's going with... Uh, what's his name? Podrick? Pod. Mm. Yeah, you don't like that. No, he's so rubbish. No, <laughs> he's oh. such a sad character. He doesn't Shut do anything. Top stew. <laughs> <laughs> this is nonsense. He was good at the start when he had the uh, the whole uh, Big Willie drama, um, <laughs> and then he's done nothing since then. It, it was that was funny, and then that was it. He's not done it. No, I, I I think you need characters like you need a little bit of comic relief now and again, and there's there's very few characters who provide it. You get a bit of comic relief from Tyrion and Bronn, and you get a bit from you. Oh, you get lots from the Hound these days. <laughs> yeah, um, who's probably the funniest guy in the show. And then the other pe- the other person you get it from is Pod. And and I, I think you need these little bits of uh, humor to go along. I, I I love that pairing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a shame in the books they kind of like he keeps calling her Sir instead of Milady because obviously she looks <laughs> like a man, and that's obviously quite a lot of comic in the books. And it's kind of a shame they've not they don't. Really seem to have done that in the TV show. So it's a bit of a shame. <laughs> well, it's funny though. It's I think had a they, bit more comic relief. I think they did it once, didn't they? And then she kind of gave him a look as to yeah. <laughs> don't call me sir again. <laughs> <laughs> I just I like that she's got respect for him now because he he killed the king's guard. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, again, I thought I was a bit of a cop out because like it was a if I remember right, like, it was a bit of a fluke, was it not? No, I can't well, remember. I don't think it was. I mean, he's not a fighter, is he? But he's not. He's clearly not. Um, I thought did he not? Capable. Did he not just kind of put his hand up and put a sword through the guy's face or something like that? The one we chink in his armor. At least I guess he had the guts to do it, though. Hmm. And like uh, Joffrey. <laughs> I'm, uh, nah, I'm just not a big fan of his. Um, where is it? Where is it? They're off to again. Are they off to get Sansa? Yeah, they have to find Sansa. They're, they're going to the wall as well. Yeah, actually, they're, they're going they? to the wrong place. They, uh, they're going to Castle Black to try and find her. And oh, that which is like everyone... the opposite direction from where they should be going. 
Oh wow, so everyone's going to end up um, at the wall, aren't they? Well, I don't know if she'll find out, maybe with the the hound or something, because uh, they're going somewhere as well, aren't they? They're going to the place in the river. River run. Yeah. Are they, are th- are they not? They're going to the area, I think. Yeah, they are. I think, I think they're at River Run at the minute. Oh, and yeah. They're, they're, and they're heading they're, to, to the Eyrie. That's right, because the Hound thinks that he can get money for Arya from <laughs> her Lancer. aunt. Yeah. 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 All right, okay. Yeah. Um, so you never know, maybe they all cross paths or something, and um, there'll be a bit of confusion, and they'll all try and find Sansa. And... Yeah. Do you know what would be a really good idea, actually? See every week if there was like a website dedicated to like a map of Westeros and then you saw like where all the people were. Wouldn't that be quite cool? <laughs> that would be good. Like just like on a map and you could see and track their uh, you ever seen like the, the Santa tracker every uh, <laughs> every year at Christmas time online? You know, just have this like little tracker where you can see where everyone is in the map and how close they're getting. Um, I, I, I'm wondering if Arya's going to get to the Eyrie though because the Starks never reunite. That's never going to happen. Oh. <laughs> Although, obviously, they don't know Sansa's there, so maybe it'll be a bit of a, yeah. an upending of that. And actually, they didn't mean to reunite, but they did reunite, so... I'll be gutted if she doesn't make it to the end. Oh, she, she's like the one kind of the hero, the last hero left, isn't she? She's like the only one who'll actually do something, even though she's a bit rubbish, and she, she wants uh, uh, to go and get revenge and all that. It's a very, yeah, very I, heroic cause. I really like her relationship with the Hound, but her d- it's not really going anywhere at mm. the moment. It is just them on the road, which is nice, you know, and you get maybe five minutes of them an episode or something. But I want mm. I want something to happen with Arya, so, and quite soon. Well, that, that fight scene in episode one was uh, was pretty awesome, when he, when he was uh, joking for the chicken. No, yeah. not, I'm, I'm going to change that. Uh, when he was a bit hungry for chickens. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I can't believe I said that. I nearly said that. Um, yeah, when he was uh, when he was looking for a bit, a bit of uh, Nando's or KFC, and um, they ended up fighting with everyone, and it was that that uh, it was through the eye, wasn't it? The, the big finale of that scene when she when she had the wee the wee sword and. Oh, a needle, yeah. Was it not yeah. through the throat? Was it not? Maybe. Yeah, it's through the throat. It was echoing how her friend. Oh no! It was died. the hound that had the, the one in the eye, and he he couldn't move the guy's sword, so he just bashed his head off of it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's brutal. I love that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, no, I don't mind every story. Like you say, it's it's good to have it in wee short bursts and uh, just see. Do you think? Do you think we'll ever find out what happened to Arya's dire wolf? That's the only one we've not seen. Well, um, we were talking the other day about how I accidentally spoiled myself. That's how I spoiled <laughs> myself. Don't, oh, really? don't, don't look up her direwolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, okay. Don't do that. Like, oh, what because happened I, to her? Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, because we, we know where all the other ones are. That You know, they're either dead or, or at various places. And then, obviously, she sent hers away in season one. It, it very early in season oh, one, wasn't yeah. it? Mm. Um, oh, no, you know, I want to look it up <laughs> don't, oh, don't. I wish you hadn't said that, uh, <laughs> Liam. How how long do we have to wait to find out what happens to the? Oh, I, I I I don't know. I'm obviously not there yet because I was just thinking. It's not no. It's not really what I read doesn't concern the dire wolf, but it. it oh, for goodness' sake! Oh, oh. <laughs> it's just like what happens to Arya next, and I was like, oh, oh right, oh, right, right, or, right, right, or right, what right. happens to her further down the line. I don't know right, if it's right. next, but right, right. I was like, oh, great. <laughs> That's the one thing that I spoiled myself on. Okay. You've so. given well, it to me the end, okay. Joe. You've ruined it for all of us. <laughs> I hope she does come. I love the I love Jon Snow and Ghost reuniting in the last episode. Uh, and Ghosts, uh, when he killed that guy who'd been taunting him as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm really disappointed we didn't see Ghost and... Oh, what's Bran's one called? Yeah, Summer. 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 Yeah. We didn't see them reunite. We saw them... We saw Summer racing towards Ghost. And then yeah. he fell down a pit, didn't he? Yeah. Um, so we never got that that nice moment of the dire wolf reunion. <laughs> did uh, did Bran get his dire wolf back, or did they just leave it in the well, pit? Well, they, 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 they? No, I think they didn't show it. no. I think they said go and get go and release Summer and we'll go. So it seems oh, yeah, we've got yeah, her. Yeah. 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 Have I missed anyone out? Any other characters, or are we? 
Uh, we probably haven't talked about Sansa that much. Just the fact oh, that she, 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 she <laughs> 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 but just just poor Sansa. You know, she thinks she's finally escaped to somewhere better than King's Landing, yeah, and yeah, she's no, really she hasn't. <laughs> Yeah, she, I, don't, I don't like I don't like Sansa. I think cause she's uh, pretty boring. She was better when she was oh when she was with Joffrey. I, don't know. I quite like Sansa. I think. I mean, she's right. She's a bit of a wet blanket. And she doesn't do much, but I quite like I quite like her. I quite like her story and what's to come. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to well, she 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 clearly has no idea that Littlefinger what Littlefinger has plans. For, you know that he wants to yeah. marry. You know he want, he's he's using her as a a pawn, I guess, to get the north, and she has no idea about that. So her, her innocence is a little bit annoying sometimes. Um, I'm not completely sold on the actress yet either, but yeah. she's getting better. She's, I don't, I don't she's think it's slowly her fault. getting better. I don't think it's her fault that she's rubbish. <laughs> no, I don't. I, the, the, the character's rubbish, not that the actress. I guess co- compared to Arya, I guess she's co- yeah. the, you know the complete opposite sister, isn't she? Yeah. Um, oh, I know who we haven't spoke about yet, uh, and I can't believe it because it was just in tonight's episode. Theon. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. The, great choice. Uh, back behind the, um, yeah, they've not really done anything this season, have they? Uh, until Reek. until this week the episode. And, um, yeah, that that was all strange, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, how, like his kind of family are just awful characters. I, I take it they are a big part. Like later on, but. They don't. They don't seem to have a very big army. That that the, the sense I'm getting. I know that they won't have taken everyone over for the rescue. Yeah, that was stuck, yeah. But but my impression is that they're not really a main player, and I I'm not they are, they're overly they're, keen on them. Yeah, they, they are uh, a, a bit crap. Um, but it was it was uh, interesting to see that his indoctrination has been kind of completed now. Uh, he's well yeah, at the yeah. brainwash stage. And now he has to, he's going to be going on a special mission, and he has to pretend that he's Theon. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think they said what the mission was going to be, or I'm assuming it's going to be, it sounded by the, by what Ramsay Snow was saying, is that they plan on taking something back, or or taking somewhere. And yeah, is that, that sure. castle that they're in, is what he said. Oh, is it? I'm sure that's what he said. Yeah, that it's like bad people that that own that castle, and he wants him to to help him take it or something like that, or to take over. Um, they, which I don't really they, understand. They um they said what it was in episode one. It's a it's a, like one of the strongholds of the north, but I, it, the name escapes me now as well. Actually, well, I think it's well in the book it's Mo, Mo Caitlin or Catelyn that, or something. That's like that. yeah, that's it. Yeah, so it's like it's meant to be kind of like the twins. It's kind of like Kate says one of the strongholds. Ah, right, okay. So they're meant to kind of take it back because it's meant to be like no one can attack it because everywhere, everywhere around it, you can see it. So they're they're taking it back. But yeah. no, I, is it only is it only me that's seeing the um, comparisons here with Theon and Gollum? <laughs> yeah, you know, in the, in the way that, that I mean, I mean, especially with episode six when you see him and he's he's just this sort of creature that's um, crawled up and scurrying away, <laughs> and he's got this these sort of almost you can almost see this sort of split personality. Um, and when Ramsay Snow gives him the bath, you know, and you can see um, Theon get in it, and he suddenly he has this moment where he thinks where it's almost like something he remembers. From, you know, I, I was going to say when he was human. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? When he was uh, in control of himself. And I, I can almost, it, it really, his character really reminds me of Gollum now. Um, and, and I wonder how that's going to pan out with Theon. I, I was pretending to be Theon. Mm. <laughs> I, I was convinced that bath was going to be something awful as well. I mean, it was like, it was a really creepy scene, but I was. I was dead sure that it was going to be like acid or something. It was just going to be this horrible, this like brutal scene. But, uh, Do you know what I was? I was dreading that we were going to see a penisless, uh, penisless <laughs> theon because <laughs> they kind of um, at it, didn't they? oh yeah, because he, you know he's standing there and he's like, <laughs> right, take off your top, now take off your trousers, right, just to and, down. <laughs> and, and I was thinking we're we're going to see this here. Uh, I'm not the only one. Um, <laughs> Thankfully, we didn't know. Um, 
That's for uh, that's also for episode nine, by the way, just in case anyone was wondering. That's uh, <laughs> the wee wee snatcher. That's the episode's title. <laughs> um. So, is there anything else uh, you guys want to bring up for it? Some predictions for the future, maybe. Well, I, I'm still waiting for this thing that Liam keeps saying is going to happen. <laughs> oh, I really want it to happen. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'll be saying. Yeah, so Liam, you uh, you mentioned uh, a couple of weeks ago on I can't remember if it was on the podcast or one of the one of the lost episodes that was there that you, you you're expecting something to happen at the, the end of last season and yeah. it didn't happen. Yeah, and yeah. I I thought that it was uh, the Joffrey thing that you were talking about. Yeah, um, and apparently it's not the no. Tyrion's trial either. No. So when, when do you think when, when is that going to happen? Uh... Uh, uh, I'm going to say the end of this season. Must be the end of this season. Must be. Must be. Yeah. Uh, just the way. Yeah. Think so. I'm thinking. Thinking way. Way. The way. Mm. Certain parts. Well, is that another one for episode nine then? It could be. Could be. I wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me if it's because I think it's. It'll be a big cliffhanger moment that I think Twitter will explode. So I think to either do it at the end of episode nine or like the season finale, is where I would do it if I was doing it. So. Yeah, I think it must be the end of the season. I think. It must have... You must have your timeline pretty messed up if you... If it could have been the end of last season, but it's now going to be the end of this well, season. Well, because... It, well... No, it's not that it's messed up. It's just something happens, and it's kind of really random, and then it never, and then it's like way oh, later right, on okay. they come back to it. So obviously right. in the TV show, they're cutting out the bit, the random bit that happens, and they're obviously... It's going to... Presume it's going to happen. I see with other characters, so it's they're taking longer than I thought they might have done. So I think it's going to be the end of this. Season. I get you now. And if it doesn't, yeah. uh, well, I, I, um, God knows. You just have to tell us if <laughs> we can't keep waiting. <laughs> no, you, you'd, you'd, if I told you, you would hate me. Tell me. Don't you dare it's tell just... me. I can no. tell Kate. I'm I not going to look Kate. it up either. I can tell you, Kate, if you want, secretly, just between the two of us. <laughs> no, 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 no. I kind of, I kind of half want a clue, like, like, what? No, no, don't, no don't, don't, fucking don't clue. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, which, you, you'll which end up part, not getting it and Bonnie has which part it. of Westeros is it going to No, 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 I won't, I won't, it's just so, it's just there and you just want to grab it and be like, no. <laughs> um, right, what predictions have you got for the rest of the season, then, Kit? I don't know, it's quite interesting the way we've talked about it tonight though and like yeah everyone is heading to the wall and I think there is going to be a big showdown at the wall Hello? whether it involves the, I don't think it's going to involve the White Walkers I think it's going to be more wildlings against uh, the um, the Night's Watch so I don't know I would be really happy with that I, th- I think that would be a good uh, kind of I just the season. I think something big's going to happen at the wall just the way the North, the way the North is being featured this season, I think something's going to happen right. in the North. But yeah, I, d- I don't know. <laughs> give, us, give us a bold prediction, like something that's just never going to happen, but it may happen. But you want it to happen. Oh, um, I would like... Well, I'm not a big Egret fan, so to get rid of her would be really good. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> oh, Jon Snow's got to kill her. I don't, I don't think you would, well my bold claim would be that but that's not going to happen so crows mm. before hoes <laughs> <laughs> that's awful get that in the t-shirt uh, what uh, about you David um, yeah like Kate I think there's going to be a big showdown at the wall which I think will probably be episode 9 I also think that by the end of the season I think we'll have seen enough of Daenerys ruling and I think she'll probably make the decision that That'll, that'll probably end up with her saying, right, we're now going to Westeros to take over um, King's Landing. And I think there will probably be a big death. Whether that's at the night at the with the Night's Watch at the Wall, or I have a feeling that someone at King's Landing is going to get it. I, and I think that I've got a feeling with that Prince Oberton coming in, not liking the Lannisters, and they're all chummy chummy, I've got a feeling something's going to happen there, and it wouldn't. Do you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if someone like Tyrion was killed off. Oh, that'd be it's, massive. No, I, that happened. I, no. Or maybe maybe Cersei or Tywin. Um, I I can see I can see one of these big Lannisters going. Yeah, I think. Do you know? I, I think I, it's, I, I think it's going to be Jamie. I think it's going to be Jamie in the next. Oh yeah, episode. good call. Could be him. 
I don't know whether have they have they done the big death of the the series so far though with Joffrey. I don't know no, whether. I think, I think there'll be one. I, we have I think more than one episode in the last uh, season. Uh, I guess in the last episode, what with um, Locke and. No, the... no, the um, and not. And the, oh, the, oh, the... oh, you did mean what with the red wedding? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe. You just don't know. Nobody's safe. So, Lillian, what were you saying there? I can answer. No, I, I was, I was just going to say, I, I agree. I think there's going to be a big death by the end of the season. I think. Oh no! Well, you... Thank <laughs> fuck. Well, you know, not you. Think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if it's going to be this season, but I think. It's right. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is a kind of spoiler or not, but I think I think. Well, the Hound's brother, the Mountain, is also going to make a note. I know. Well, he's being cast for this season, so Ooh. we know he's going to appear. And obviously, yeah. Oberyn wants. He's pro- he's been promised yeah, this fight, that, yeah. hasn't he? So that that's coming up as well. I, what what's going to come of that? I don't know. But. Do you know? I know we've seen the uh, the mountain before, but I cannot remember what it looks like for the life of me. Well, they've, they've, they've recast, recast him. him, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. You'll remember the mountain. Obviously, not the actor, but the character is yeah. the one who sliced it, his horse's head off. Do you remember? In season yes, I do one? remember that. Yeah. That that was the mountain. Yeah, uh, it's that way. Like, I can see that scene. I just can't remember what the old actor looked like. I suppose it won't matter if it's that long since we've seen him. Well, it's a different. It's a different character. A different yeah, that, that, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, we won't recognise who the who the old guy was. Um, I think for my bold prediction, I'm going to say. See, I was going to say Stannis uh, been the big finale, but I don't know now. Maybe. What if we seen, um, what's his face arriving on the boat, the uh, blacksmith guy. Does his character have a name? Gendry. Gendry, that's the one. Yeah. Um, if if that is the season finale, no, I don't mean season finale. <laughs> I, I think that'll be something. I've given up on the that, show. That's, that's not what I was alluding to. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't mean for the big finale. I think we'll see him coming back, and I think he's going to do like a like a big event. I think he's going to. Maybe he'll kill off uh, one of the Lannisters, possibly. No. Mm. No, I, nah, I can't see him being much of a killer. Uh, okay, how about this one then? Uh, the White Walkers intercept the cannibal guys and turn them all into White Walkers. Well, maybe the, or, the Night's Watch and the Wildlings are so busy fighting each other that they don't notice the White Walkers have just oh, crept up on them. That would be an amazing last scene, just seeing that big army walking towards them. Like, do you know, I, I think an amazing, an amazing last scene would be um, the Hound has just defeated his brother in a battle, and him and Arya sit down to a bucket of wings. <laughs> <laughs> just as the good. final scene, <laughs> <laughs> he, he finally gets his chicken. <laughs> right, I think, I think with that, we'll uh, we'll wrap up this episode. Um, yeah, can I just give a shout out, Stu, to um, for anyone who's listening? We've just posted up. The um, Robbie's latest Game of Thrones review on the website um, for this week's episode. So make sure you check that out. We probably should have give Ro- Robbie a shout out on this. He does some really good Game of Thrones reviews um, for our website. Um, so Robbie, I'm sure you'll be listening to this. Um, hello and thank you. No, you can't give him a shout out. I'm cutting all that back. <laughs> yeah, the guys are <laughs> Um So yeah, thanks. Everybody for listening. Um, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Let us know uh, if you want if you want us to do uh, any more, any different shows or anything like that. Um, and we'll we'll try and bring that to you. Hopefully next week, regular podcast and duties will be resumed, um, and we'll we'll bring you back some more daft chat about TV and movies. Um, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google Plus. If you just uh, search for TV and film review and TV and Film Reviews on YouTube with an S where we've started doing some mini casts as well um, you can check those out on the on the YouTube channel make sure you give us a wee subscription um, and you can find us on Twitter at uh, underscore culture mouse as Kate McCall alright yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, Liam is at crisp underscore packet indeed and 3 for 3 David McGregor 84 that's the, one. the boss man. Yep, there we go. And you can find me at the Stu Dog, um, S T E W Dog. Um, 
and yeah so thanks everyone for uh, listening to us and thanks guys for joining me in the spoiler cast and we'll see you all later bye bye